here we go everyone working today just completed a successful interstate crossing and what better way to celebrate and try to get my nerves to calm down than going for a toy hunt so let's go into the bluefield walmart we don't always get to let's see what they got we are in a little different walmart than normal bluefield virginia that's transformer stuff i think there's some turtles on the other side over there hmm we'll see what we got there in a second but let's take a look at transformers for now there's ratchet um who's that behind him optimus primal oh gosh guys i'm still half froze i ain't moving too good a rhinox and ratchet ratchet and then junk heat back in there in the back we'll fix those back in a second got our godzilla and kong stuff what we got up top there's an rc godzilla can see here what we got. I got the Shimu. We don't see Shimu very much. Scar King, Godzilla, but the usual compliment of stuff there we've been seeing. There's a Genghis Frog, the light green version. Once they got the dark green version as well. Yep, right there. Got both versions of Genghis. That's pretty cool. Pizza Tossers. You got Ray Filet hanging out there. Movie Turtles. I mean, they got a lot of the Mutant Mayhem stuff. Ray Filet back through there again. Uh, Fugglers are invaded. This one as well. Got Leo and Donnie. Any more up top? Don't she any. What else we got? Um, Legends. You got MJ, MJ, the Matt Murdocks, Miss Marvel, Cap, Thor, Mark II, Iron Man, and then a Mr. Banner hanging out there. And then Ant-Man, Crossfires. The ones have been said, who's the zombie back there? Oh, it's Goliath. That's not a zombie. We got our little Avengers figures. Now here's a little plushy Thanos with the gauntlet. Hmm. It looks like an old guy's work for me as a safety director. Uh, what else? Oh, they're stocking stuff on the aisle over from me. So we'll to see what they got over there. It's diecast. Well, we got Owlman. Oh man, they got a blue beetle figure. <laughs> then another Owl Man, bunch of Owl Man, Aquaman. This is $13.99 right now if you catch them at Target. Uh, no new superpowers. Same old, same old. No Brainiac ship. Batmobile. Oh, we got some old. Oh, build a figures here. Robin King, Robin King, Wonder Woman back in there from the front. King, same thing there. There's a Nightwing. Um, Luke. And we're probably going to have to check out for the bet they come to stock this aisle now. So I'll be back. Alrighty, they finished stocking. So let's just take a little look up through here and see what they put out. I think all she had was some Godzilla and Kong boxes when I was looking at the cart. No winged eagle belt. What have we got here? Bray, Million Dollar Man, Bray. Bray and Papa Shango. Up there, yep. Nothing exciting there. A couple of Kurt Angle Ultimates. And like other the Walmart, I got a buttload of Eddie Kingston. Thunder Rosa, Chuck Taylor. All three of those are Roxanne Perez. Star Wars. We got Sabine Rim, but she's a little smashed up. Migs Mayfield, a chopper. Um, nothing really in Micro Galaxy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like the ATAT, -AT, I think it's pretty sweet. And then there's the big brother, the big ATAT. -AT. Uh, who we got here? Captain Hoo Ha, chopper. Ahsoka, Ahsoka, Ahsoka. There's Fennec. Lando. I think it was cool. I think the Death Watch Mandalorian. Another one of those. And you got your Chrysantins and Wrecker. And Chrysantins. They have Luke and Grogu. I thought I saw them somewhere. I guess I did not. Oh, yep. I did. They're right here. <laughs> and up there is a bunch of older page pun or a super. Or why are they call superpowers? Ooh. Bear with me, guys. I've been up since 3 30 this morning. <laughs> my mind is not very sharp of course I hardly ever is but it's a lot worse now 
And that's got us back to where we were. She's putting out some Godzilla and Kong stuff up there, but eh. We've already seen all that. What have we got over here in our video game stuff? Series 2 Among Us. I wonder what the difference between 2 and 3 is. What the new figures look like. I'm going to go back and look at T3's video. And we got a bunch of Mario stuff here. It looks like it's all pretty much Mario and a few Koopas. <laughs> Diddy, Donkey, and Link. Mario movie. Oh, they got some Snake Man down here. I see Squeeze. Moss Man to the end of the peg, Snake Man Infiltrator, Lady J's, and Baroness's. Gonna peg a shipwreck. Well, two of them, I thought it was a whole peg. Uh, well, Omni only one Fortnite. <laughs> That's easy. A bunch of Zodax and Captors. Those have been clearance in a lot of other places. I'm not sure about here. There's a glow in the dark among us, dude. He's pretty cool. Uh, what else we got here, everybody? It's like we're winding down the action figures. And I've already went up the die cast. I went there while I was waiting on the lady to get finished stocking. They don't have anything to show in die cast, so we're going to head back to collectors. If we don't see anything there, that's probably going to wrap up this Walmart. What are we going to focus on? Uh, let's go Blue Beetle. All right, we are going to show the collector section because I've come back here to take a peek. Actually, I wanted to scan all of these. These are still 75 bucks for the pizza boxes here. I thought they might be on clearance. Actually, I just spotted all these. These look like the ones we've been seeing, though. A little bit older ones. I didn't see the culture fly stuff. Of course, I haven't really looked around for it yet. But back to what I was saying before I got distracted for the 15th time. There's something over here on clearance. That's the first time I've ever seen this stuff on clearance, which is exciting. But you can see what they got there. Then let's come over here and let's just show it. I took a screenshot. I want to pause here for a second. Put the screenshot up. $25 each for these Leonardo and Donatello 2-packs. 25 bucks. I've never seen these things on clearance before. And it still shows $59 down there. So you know, make sure you scan stuff, guys. You never know. And it's pretty cool. That's a good deal for those. In my opinion, anyways, if you like the turtles and like NECA. What do we got over here? We got our Super 7s. G.I. Joe back in there. Cobra Commander and the Yellow Ranger. Got some more pops. I've been seeing these. Are these re-releases or just old stock? Or new? I mean, I don't know. Age of Ultron Hulk. I would think that one was older. I saw this at a Walmart yesterday. But oh, the Hulk Buster would be cool. But I didn't film... I think in that section. Here you go, Infinity War Iron Man. Uh, what else we got? Anime stuff. But yeah, I think that's pretty much going to do it. But the hitter is right there. Clearance Turtles, 25 bucks each. And here we go. Once again, we're here at the Bristol Walmart to begin our weekday toy hunts. Let's run in here. Let's see what they got for us today. I don't think I've ever noticed that little Transformers placard thing there before. But yeah, let's get moving. Uh, about the same stuff stacked on top. And as usual, we got our Transformers starting off. That Bumblebee down there, the beast mode was pretty cool. Got a sludge. Got some ratchets. Who we got up here? Oh, uh, sludge. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. That music is loud. I don't know if that's coming through on the video or not. But, ugh. They start hunting this place after 8 o'clock in the morning when they start that sensory deprivation stuff. Uh, wing nut. Nah. No ganguses. Let's see if they got the variants. There's Donkey Kong hanging out randomly over here. Uh, you don't go over here, buddy. Let's put you over here with your friends. We'll look at you guys in a minute. All right, what else we got over here? Got our Fugglers, and I have Leo. I think Donnie's hanging solo. Unless that one in the back is Leo. Nope, he Donnie. And none up top. Poor Donnie. Leo must be more popular. At least he's out there in that shipper. Because he still has the big Fuggler shipper, but it's getting a little bit dwindled down now. Those Fugglers seem to be selling good. The creepy movie turtles, Genghis Frog back in there. There's a super mushy red Hulk. Hey, you're super mushy. You know, so am I. <laughs> That's the head on thing is mushy. Isn't it? I think that was pretty hard. 
Uh, still got the Spider-Man dinosaur for $47. That's one thing I can't believe has a clearance by now. There's some turtles on Guji Sus. I don't, don't know if I've seen those. If I have, I haven't paid any attention. Doc Ock. Oh, we found the Doc Ock Marvel Legends in my weekend hunt. That's still awesome. Oh, uh, we still got the same old here. Tarantula, Magneto, MJ. Uh, got Captain America Steel, Stealth Suit. And we still got some build a figure from Bonebreaker here. And these are still, last time I just scanned them, they're still full price. That is an awesome build a figure, though. One of my favorite Marvel Legends build a figures that I've done. Let's see. Got our dinos. Oh, we had to go. I think we looked at Godzilla and Kong stuff, did I? If I didn't, there it is. They got about all of it. They don't have the RC Godzilla that I can see anywhere, but they seem to have about everything else. Once again, looking forward to Godzilla and Kong and the new Empire movie. Let's see what we got in our DC. Got Batmobiles and Jets and Superpowers. I would say nothing new. Nope. Got one regular Jim Gordon Batman hanging out. Still got a blue and gray hush back there. A couple of Dark Knights of Steel. That's not a bad figure. My biggest problem with him, I bought one to take out of the uh, box. He was very hard to get to stand. Surprisingly, he didn't look like he'd be that hard to pose, but all this plastic on his upper body makes him a little, little top heavy. Not being negative, that's the only man. It looks great. Once you get him posed, he looks cool. But a little difficult to get him stand up. There's a Grogu, somebody stuck him back here. Mando, Ahsoka, Stormtrooper, Vader, Paz, and Sabine. Everybody hanging out with us this morning. Still got an owl, man. And I'm down to one of those. And no, there's another one back in there. But This is another one. I don't think it looks... This is one of the stronger, I think, compliments to the vampire figures. And yeah, you know, McFarlane has announced our next vampire from Walmart Exclusive is going to be Nightwing. So we just finished vampire hunting here a couple weeks ago. We'll be going back on the trail once Nightwing starts to hit. Uh, nothing new in Star Wars. We got the three and three quarter in case my old buddy Yukon watches this. Nothing too exciting. All kinds of chrysanthemums. He's clearance right now at Target. And Beast, not Beast Man, Moss Man. AEW looks like it's about the same. And then you got all those Eddie Kingstons. So I'm going to get a good clearance deal on one of his figures here. Eventually. We got our belts for Austin trucks. Range. Got some Power Ranger stuff down there. Got some Power Ranger stuff up here. Anything new in our superstars? Rick Rude. What's that one of the rock? Nah, got Seth Rollins. Still got the Undertaker there from that wave. Still kind of regretting on getting Diamond Dallas Page in that wave. But oh well, we're not a big wrestling guy. It's not that big of a deal. A couple of honky tonk men. G.I. Joe is depressing. Lady J's. And this one right here has been here forever. I know. I remember that car being ripped. So they've hung a hanger on the back of it. Cannot believe they haven't clearance those things down to like a dollar. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I guess they're long gaming us collectors because honestly, that peg has shrank. So somebody's bought some of them. And we long game the stores. Could it be possible that the stores long game us? See how long it takes to beat us down? Do we finally give up? I'm like, screw it. I'm buying it. Now they got a peach. This, in my opinion, is one of the cooler things they've put out in this figure wave. I'd love it for a plant. Peach. Hang out. Camix. The Camix is a nice figure, too. And these little Mario. I like these little Nintendo figures. So I bought this and Zelda for Kelly a while back. I've got Samus. i got Donkey and Diddy Kong. And again, they're affordable. I mean, to me, for what you get and the quality of them, I, 10 bucks isn't bad nowadays with today's prices. We got any Series 3 among us? Didn't even know there was a Series 3 until Mr. T3 Collects found them. Uh... He probably just took stickers and put like a series three stick, made series three stickers and put on those just to try to fool all of us. <laughs> if you watch this T3, Carlos, you know I'm just giving you crap. Poppy, nothing different. That? This one right here doesn't show up. A green, doesn't, I don't find very much. 
you know, he's all over the place and you usually find the little red scientist guy. But him, not so much. And the Pokemon has been ravaged. A lot of the figures are gone, hardly any card packs. Got a few of those boxes there, but still got our plushies. Man, yeah, that's it for action figures here this morning, guys. Not a whole lot new and exciting, but it is well stocked. They do have a good variety. That's always a good thing. But let's head over to Diecast and Collectors. If we find anything there, you'll get to see it. If I don't, you'll see me somewhere else. Diecast, what do we got here? Still got a bunch of those Kindle motor oil things. Uh, the Batman, look at the side here. No Dark Knight Returns Bat Tank. We got no blue tops on our ships. They do have Millennium Falcon though, that's pretty cool. This was showing up for $5.99 at Ross. For I found it a couple of times, I haven't seen it in a bit though. I like that one, the at, -AT in my opinion is the best one. In my opinion, I'm not a Star Wars guy. Another TIE Fighter, Fast and Furious under it. Back to the future to the time machine there. Um, there plenty of those nano things now, Fast and the Furious. Nothing new and exciting on the bottom. Let's check back here before we move on. All right, Texaco Mustang down there. We're going to take a look at that. That's different. At least if it's not, I haven't seen it before. Oh, man, look at this deep red SS Chevelle. I like that color. Ooh red and that black that is nice no pink batmobile oh we got anything else different here they don't have the new are those kits yet that we found over the weekend trivial pursuit speed racer training day car i only found that one from wayne's world one time i was trying to find that another local collector was trying to find us gonna help him out but saw it at once didn't see it again Hang on there. 89 Ford Mustang GT. I like his old Fox Box Mustangs. That's kind of cool looking too. I think these are a little bit cheaper than the regular regular M2s. All right, back to this side. What do we got? We got any Series 33s? Come on. 33. 33. 33, notably the Grease Trap. And try if you can hear Brian Adams, he's singing Run to You. Number 33 needs to run to me. And then 34, you know, Series 34 is showing up at some targets now. One of my viewers, Joshua's got me hooked on trying to find those Chase Monster Jams. All right, not anything screaming out at me here, guys. I got the Ghostbuster Shipper. Let's see if they got Slimer. There's the blind boxes. You got our Ecto one. There's Slimer. <laughs> Slimer is cool. I can say that. Plenty of Ectos. Only one Slimer. There's our figures. But yeah, that's going to do it for back here. Let's head to Collectors and let's see if we can find anything there. All right, we're in Collectors and they finally have refilled their pops. This has been pretty pretty sad for a while i see a bunch of mandos mandalorian with a dark saber oh that's paz vizsla that's not mando man so i'll get wrecked over the coals for that one got paz vizsla and a mandalorian confused oh sorry guys like i said not a big star wars guy got some stranger things there this one grogu looks like it's one of the sideways ones yeah Still got Hawkman back in there. There's a Chucky Nook hanging out. Man, those things are beefy. Uh, yep, but they stocked those back up. We still got our Ninja Turtles there. Leo and Mikey. Is that all they've got? Yep, Leo and Mikey. Leo and Mikey's the only ones that's shown back up in my area. I haven't seen Donnie and Raph yet. And we got our usual compliment stuff here. One thing I am wondering, all the stuff over there is gone. I wonder if they just got rid of it, got rid of it, or it's on clearance somewhere. Leonardo as the hunchback. Let's move over here. This is where some, oh, here's some of it, yeah. We still got our three deeps. They sold kind of halfway decent. You got a Friday the 13th, a couple that's gone. Somebody's broke the plastic on it. And this one too. I guess they're trying to see what they feel like. And then you got it, this whole thing, nothing but it. There's a Friday the 13th, no. 
Still $10 sodas, $8 Angs. The Riddler Mega Fig here is $25. This is a lot of stuff that was sitting on that end cap. The only thing I don't see are all those Mato Yoshi Hiroko Sake two packs. But, yep. The usual stuff we've been seeing in all of this. I gotta say, guys, these three deeps up here are pretty cool. That's right at 13 point. I, I'm really pleased with that. The one thing I was going to get that I didn't buy, I thought was kind of eh. I wouldn't pay $25 for these little Batman figures, but anywho, that's going to do it for Walmart. If I find anything else, I'll show it to you. If not, I'll see you at the next one. Our toy hunting adventures here continue on the van collects as we approach Bristol Target. Here we go. Let's go in and see what they got. Maybe they got the new McFarlands and some Platinums. Who knows? Let's go look. Target in Bristol, what have you got for me? Kingsport and Johnson City were fruitful over the weekend. But I would think that if anything was here, there's his seven inch Batman figures. I don't know if that's supposed to be the new ones or not. I would say it's gone if we're in here on Monday morning. So we would have missed it if they stocked anything over the weekend. Still got the Batman Bane little two pack down there. Um, G.I. Joe's, you got Vipers and what's his name? Copperhead there, Python Patrol. I got a. Uh, mutton junkyard that's pretty cool so got some ghostbuster blind boxes or proton blaster x-men said they've got three of those right now hopefully that'll hit clearance here for too much longer got the green translucent looking venom there doc ox spidey kind of the same old same old nest still 30 percent clearance on mj nobody's biting on those they still got four of them when it hits 50%, I say we're going to see those disappear. If not, for surely, when it hits 749, they'll be gone. Uh, they just got Mark II and Camp. Yep. Got plenty of these Jada figs. Oh, we got down here at the end. Doesn't look like anything new today. We got to check over in Collector still. Maybe we'll find some good stuff over in there. If we find an employee, we may get him to run the DCPI on that Skydives or Skyrise, whatever it is, Batman. And then the um, Catwoman. Uh, I got some sales going on here, some of this stuff. Minecraft. And there's some more of the Minecraft stuff. It's marked down a little bit. Still got 30% clearance on the big Luigi down there. This isn't marked anymore. That should be $13.99. And then nothing much there. And our Mario figures just changed since last week. Oh, as a usual, that is an awesome figure. All right, guys. Let's go check out the wrestling and stuff and see what they got. If we find anything, I will show it to you. If we don't, well, see you somewhere else. Doesn't look like any new wrestling stuff, but there is a sale on pretty much all this stuff. The Iron Sheik is showing me back down. They're back down in 1954 where they were here a while back. 2804 for the warrior um andre hogan yeah whatever this is supposed to be is almost so showing 2299 assume that's the newest way because the hulk hogan actually showing to be here and trish stratus is there instead so i could fix that we could be nice and put trish over here and then move hogan where he's supposed to be over here and just be nice now, last time these were on sale they never stopped them once they hit sale price but after they went off sale all of a sudden they got a bunch more in <laughs> ultimate edition figure well we'll leave that this is going to be on sale until the 9th of march looks like and the ring's back on sale too that 40th anniversary bundle at the hogan's three pack hulkamania yep i'm don't remember if I seen those here. They're marked down as well, almost ten bucks. Anna J, Stu Grayson. Uh, they've already sold the new Black Series that they had. Still thirty percent off on all of this stuff. Uh, that should be hitting the next wave here. Fifty percent off for too much longer, I would think. Is this week two of the clearance? I don't remember. Lando's 
Pizza fire vans. Tweedles. The mutating turtles are gone. They had him here last week. Somebody grabbed them. There's Mondo Gecko. They got Ray Flair April. I don't know if I've seen April on Target yet or not. I've seen Ray a couple of times. And there's Mondo. Oh, and all the Jurassic World stuff. Is either clearance or on sale, looks like. Still 30% off on the clearance price tag. They could be more now. I haven't scanned them. And the rest of them appear to be on sale. So, if you saw on clearance, it's at least on sale if you're a Jurassic Park fan. Or Jurassic World, whatever you want to call it. But that looks like all for this aisle, guys. We're going to go check out some diecast. Anything there? Oh, let's look at this. I don't know if I looked at this. This looks new. Special Forces TIE Fighter. That's pretty cool looking. Uh, this is the one that's got the... Oh, no. Hmm, pretty cool. Series 5. Again, I haven't seen that before. I can't say that it's new, but it looks new anyways to me. But, anywho, that's going to do it for this aisle. Let's go check out some diecast, and if I find anything else, I will show it to you. We're going to take a gander at some diecast. That was kind of cool. Is it on Mitsubishi? Yep. Uh... Pretty good stock of die cast. Not anything standing out making me look at it though. Here's a pullback speeder. That's kind of cool. Eight bucks. Not terrible priced. Man, it's like that the same scale as these things. Yeah, pretty much. And these are twenty five dollars. That's eight. What's the difference? I mean, these might be really nice. I don't know. I just think they're overpriced. Twenty five bucks for a car that size. You can get the. Um, what Jada stuff, like the Ecto and all that, that's about that scale for, you know, $7. But again, maybe those are a lot better quality. I shouldn't be so whiny. We got any Series 33s? We, yep, we got one, a zombie. <laughs> there's 133, there's 131. <laughs> it's kind of cool, though, the different color tires. Oh, we don't have a Batmobile, do we? I don't think they've restocked this since the last time I was here. I did hear some stock cars go rolling down towards the collectors, though. So I got some high hopes. We might see some different stuff over there. But for back here, I think we are done in the toy section. I'm going to walk through the Lego to see if they got anything. If they do, that's cool. Walking Dead. If they do, I'll show it to you. If they don't, then I'll probably do it for Target. One thing I do want to show, guys, Target does have a big sale going on. All of their, well, not all, but most of their Mega Block stuff. You know, these just came out, or they just stocked them like last week. They're already on sale, like three dollars, almost four dollars off. The big car down there is down thirteen bucks. I wish they had. Is that the? That's the Firebird. I wish they had that Firebird. I probably would have got that for a marked down price. Any of the Lego on sale? Looks like the Lego was all still the same price. And the new sets haven't hit yet, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if I've seen it before or not. Pull back McLaren, maybe I have, but I don't remember it. I got Optimus up there, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's some more monster trucks. Uh, I don't have any 33s down here, do we? 32, and then those ones that you wash off to reveal a mystery car, and a bunch more of those pullbacks. Oh man, look at Bone Shaker. That looks pretty cool. That one's kind of tempting. We'll take a picture of that. I like Bone Shaker. It's about the, one of the Hot Wheels I like to get. One of those versions. But anyways, we're going to run back to collectors now. We'll see what they got. Collectors. What do we got here? We still got some ALF. NECA. Um, still got Jigsaw hanging out with us. Ghostface. Wednesday. Chucky and Tiffany. Someone told me this one is $25. So $10 more. For the two pack. Sam and Guliana. Again, Wednesday, more Chucky. There's some more Wednesday. Ghostface. Um, Ghostface, I think right now, is like, I think my buddy Dave sent a thing on Instagram. It's like $11 on Best Buy's website. And you'll be seeing this on Wednesday, so I don't know when that sale would have ended. Uh, they got Rose, Bob, Bar someone, uh, okay, one of the comments I got on a former video was that I found just like Bob Ross. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. I'm taking it as a compliment. I think Bob Ross is awesome, but that was kind of funny. My wife's told me that for the longest time, and I've always kind of told her I don't think so. And somebody leaves that comment. 
I bet he what. Uh, you got some bunch of gargoyles down there. We got this kinky leatherized Godzilla. It feels like a basketball. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. That's probably 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, let's see if I can get it back in there. Uh, Deadpool, a bunch of pops on sale, too. Later, who's in Deadpool? Steph Curry down there. Big Pokemon set. Oh, these are on all. Is Wolverine on sale? I want to scan Wolverine. If he's on sale, I'll put something on the screen saying yes, he was or not. But those are down to $14.99 a lot of these. Comic covers. Chocolate Han Solo. Kid. Oh, that's Kid Magneto for a minute. Oh, I got a glimpse of that. Thought it might have been the crow. I was getting ready to send that T3. Hulk looks pretty cool. Turtle sodas. Same stuff here. No new McFarlane. No Wonder Woman or the Batman stuff. So, Steve right out. Maybe later this week. Who knows? All right. We had some clearance down here. Let's go see. Oh, they've moved it all. They've either already got rid of it or there's a new clearance section somewhere. So we got to go back and try to find that. Because all those Luigi's, uh, the Aquaman figures, all those. Um, oh, never mind. Huh, they're down there. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I found them. That was quick. Okay. Let's move down here and see what they got. They finally got the Aquaman figures marked. They're still $13.99 according to those stickers. $8.99 for those WrestleMania things up there. $13.99 for Donkey Kong. $20 for Luigi. Those are already 50% off at the Johnson City Target. Let me scan on Luigi there and see how much he is. But yeah, we got a little clearance section going here, so check your stores. Don't be like me and assume it's not there when it's right in front of you. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this Target. I think we're going to scan a couple of things and find anything else let you see it. If not... We'll see you at the next one. All right, here we go. Came back the next day. They're actually stocking. And we've got the Platinum Catwoman. And we've got the Bell Batman. The Unmasked. The regular common version. But they didn't have a Platinum Batman. And they got the um, Batman vs. Superman Batman. But we've already got that one, so I didn't grab him. But yes, we're getting these two. Now we just got to find us a Platinum Batman. All right, everybody, we were in here earlier, and they had those Platinum Catwoman, and, and um, what was it, Batfleck, and, oh, the Skydive Batman, but they also put these out after I left. You got Donatello, we've got Leonardo, we have got Man-at-Arms, and He-Man, Turtles of Grayskull here at the Bristol Target. Uh, cards are pretty decent. They would have been unpunched if I hadn't put them up on these pegs, but... <laughs> It is what it is. These are pretty cool looking. Leonardo and Donatello especially. But yeah, we got some turtles here. We're going to take a look around see if they stocked anything else. I don't see anything else on this aisle other than the sale clearance going to 50% now instead of 30%. But let's go take a look around and let's see what else we can find. Alright guys, I'm not going to shoot the whole aisle. Just what they added. The bat fleck is gone. They had that earlier. Um, I picked up Bell and platinum catwoman but they did put out some animal man and like i said clearance is now hitting 50 percent um you got these things now down to ten dollars big luigi and mario down there from the movie is down to um 15 dollars each and william golden had told me there was a pack of these that have venom in them and look here they got the pack that's got the metal figure of venom so that's pretty cool little spider-man kit all right guys we're gonna go check some more stuff now actually let's walk over to lego Okay, I had to cut short in the toys if you wonder my audio quit, but here we go with Batfleck. Hmm. Yeah, I got two Batflecks, so we found those. They actually just put these up right before I walked over here, so, yep. They got all the ones here I was looking for today, except for the Platinum um, Bell Batman, so we're still on the lookout for that, but... See anything else new here, guys? I'll show it to you. There is some stuff on the Lego aisle, but there were some kids that came down that aisle, so I had to cut my camera off. But let's go over there and see if I can show you what they got. It is time, once again, to go into Ross here in Bristol, Virginia. They had some stuff last week. They had some turtles and some stuff, so let's get in here and see if they got anything for us this morning. All right. Got some Mirrorverse. 
goofy. Oh, they got a Mickey Mouse. That's pretty cool. Play this up here to see a little better. There we go. And I still got the Havoc Marauders. Two of them for Star Wars. I might want to dig those out. We've seen those before. And there's Belle. So Goofy, Belle, and um, Mickey. So they do have some Mirrorverse here. Plus they got this thing. Zion Williamson. $9.99. Pop trading cards. So, eh, got some new stuff up here. Let's go back to the back. See if we got anything back there. All right, we still got some Hot Wheels Racer first stuff down there. Sonic the Hedgehog. Which one is that? Uh, classic Sonic. Oh, is it Studio Studio Studiopolis to place it? Okay. Got some little small plushies left. The only thing I really see back here that I don't recognize from last week is this. Whatever this is. It's three dollars. Still got some of the Transformers. They got a Skelegod. Actually, there's Starscream. They got all the Transformers. That stuff I had last week. Hot Wheels sets. Uh, some. Uh, what do they call RC cars? Yeah, not much else. I do believe that's about it for this place, guys. Anything else? I'll show it. If not. We're on to the next. All right, what do we got at Books a Million this morning? I don't think I did an intro, so let's let it clear the screen. We're on the anime. And oh man, we got some finds already. Look here. I set my target purchase up here. Oh, we got some G.I. Joe classifieds. This box is beat up, but I've never seen this one in the store before. 40 bucks here at Books a Million. Don't know what it was, regular retail, but Snow Serpent, that's pretty cool. And then we've got Grunt. I think I saw Grunt one time before at um, GameStop. He's 30 bucks. So yeah, they're usually $5 over retail. So I'm assuming that one was $34.99. I don't know. But yeah, we got a couple of new G.I. Joe here so far. And the last Ronin and stuff there is the same. Uh, Reapers, Four Turtles. Still got the Aquaman thing. Simple Jack Superman. Sorry for my bag rattling. Uh, all this stuff looks like older figures, except for, you know, you got Clooney hanging out there. And over here, you got another Clooney. Oh, we got some new, has a newer multiverse. We got another regular steel. I mean, they probably had the platinum. What's back here? That's Batman. And they got Nightwing. And he doesn't have the gray smudge on his cheek like my one one here in Tamar Earth does. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. I don't think Nightwing looks that bad. So Nightwing, Steel, Doofy Superman, new G.I. Joes. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Joker Pops hanging out here. Uh, Marvel Legends looks like the same thing they had last week. We've got a stock cart here. But let's see, there's some Ninja Turtle Pizza Cutter. That's pretty cool. Still, oh, they got some more Amazing Spider Man figures. Again, let's put the. They got Andrew Garfield again, at least, if not the others. I must have just found one of him. Maybe somebody hid this somewhere. They had it last time when they found it. 30 bucks. But yeah, got some more fine books of millions been on fire lately. Let's get around the cart. I'm trying to trip and hurt myself. Got some discounted Funko. Um, yeah. Bunch of coffee mugs. Lord of the Rings, the one, oh, that's pretty cool, the one ring mug, that's pretty sweet, actually. Oops, made a mess, made a noise, not a mess. Thor, Love, and Thunder stuff. Uh, which I, and then let's check our NECA stuff. Best action, they still got Enid and Wednesday there, a bunch of Indiana Jones figures. That's the same old, same old on the rest of it there. This looks like it's been added. Anything cool behind it? We got Slash. 
that's not the glow in the dark version so and what do we got up here stranger things wednesday uh creature from the black lagoon looks like they sold the other nosferatu unless i'm just not seeing it camp crystal lake and Star Wars. Down to our turtle stuff. There's our shredder. We got a turtle pizza cutter and a shredder shredder. So we got Raphael there from Last Ronin. That's pretty sweet. But, yep. I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. Yeah, we got some new McFarlane and new G.I. Joes. Let's go get some pictures for thumbnails and let's head out of here. Hello my friends, my name is Chris, you're watching The Man Collects. Welcome back to The Man Hunt to wrap up another midweek Wednesday toy hunt video. I know I said a few videos ago, the Wednesday video is probably going to be changing. Still plan on changing up the format some here on Wednesday videos. May not always be hunts, but that's not going to be until up in March. So for now we're still doing a toy hunt. But... As usual, I want to thank everyone for taking time to watch this toy hunt, and if you did enjoy it, be sure to click the like button on the video. But let's get down to it. Store of the Hunt. What was Store of the Hunt for this video? It's got to go to the one I think I spent the most time in the past couple of days. That is Target in Bristol, Virginia. And what made it Store of the Hunt, you may ask? Well, a variety of things. Number one, Target's on sale again. It seems like the stuff that was on sale here, what, maybe a month ago, uh, is back on sale again. Uh, you got the wrestling figures marked back down to 1954. You got the Ultimate WWE Warrior back down to 28 something. But um, they ran those on sale here not too long ago. They've got them back at the sale prices again now. So it's always cool to see sale prices. Um, Mega Blocks. They got a lot of the Mega Block Pokemon sets and stuff on. Actually, all the Mega Block sets there. I think I think all of them are on sale. You know, the Hot Wheels cars and everything that they got. So it's always cool to see a sale. And Target seems to run them a little more frequent than Walmart does. So it's always good to see reduced prices. Target clearance season is back again. Now it's not as sexy as some uh, previous Target clearance seasons when we're seeing a lot of Marvel Legends stuff like that. But the Aquaman 2 wave, it's down to $13.99 now. And it's, it should be hitting the next tier of clearance here pretty soon. You got some Star Wars clearance. You got some Jurassic Park clearance, Jurassic World. Um, a lot of Funko on clearance right now. The Super Mario movie stuff, a lot of it's on clearance. The big, tall Mario and Luigi figures, and then the Donkey Kong little set, and you know, that stuff's on clearance. So you got some clearance deals and some sale prices. That was cool to see. But then we get into some actual figures we're looking for, some of the new stuff. What do they have there? Well, they had the new McFarlane wave. They had the Batman, the Hong Kong skydive, you know, the maskless, the common. They didn't have the platinum. We missed that one. They did have the platinum Catwoman, though. That was pretty cool to see. And then they had the Batman vs. Superman Batflick. Um, as not just McFarlane, they had some Turtles of Grayskull. Uh, that's starting to show up a little bit more in my area. I've been finding a little more frequently lately. But they had all four turtles and all four figures in the first wave. Leo, Donnie, Man-at-Arms, and He-Man. No Mouse Jaw, no Deluxe figure. They had the regular carded ones there. So it was cool to see those. And they actually had probably the best looking card that I've seen those on in a Target so far. Uh, do they have anything else? I got my notes here in front of me. I think that's it, guys. But all those things, you put them in a little ball, and then you throw it for the hoop, and it puts Target through the backboard there, whatever, a store of the hunt for this video with some lame basketball references. All right, store of the hunt. Now we're going to go to the top three. What were the man's top three coolest things, in my opinion, I saw on the toy hunt? We're going to start with number three, and it is a clearance item, but it was not at Target. It was a clearance item we found to Bluefield, Virginia, Walmart. I don't see NECA, and what's well, actually that Bluefield Walmart is not really in my neck of the woods, in my hunt area, but still, I rarely ever see NECA hit clearance. Uh, every now and then, I'm not saying I've never seen it. You know, uh, Goliath from Gargoyle is on clearance in a lot of places, but I've never found those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2 packs on clearance. That was cool to see. $25 for one of those two packs. That is $12.50 per figure for NECA figures. That is a steal, guys, if you don't have those figures. Uh, they had two of those two packs. You know, of course, both of them scanned at $25. Um, they still showed $59 on the little uh, placard there, so if you're seeing those in your store still, make sure you scan them with the app to see if they might, they might be on clearance. You might have a good deal on them as well in your area, but really cool to see that. I'm hoping maybe to find a Raph and Mikey. Um, not that I want to buy them again, but hey, it's cool to find deals like that. But we did find that there. $25 for a NECA Turtle 
two-pack. And those are number three of the coolest things I saw on this hunt. Now let's head into number two. Number two goes to a figure from a line that I have stopped collecting. And that is G.I. Joe Classify. We found the Cobra Snow Serpent there at the Books of Million in Bristol, Virginia. Um, they actually had two G.I. Joe Classifies. They had Grunt and they had the Snow Serpent. It was cool to see those. Um, kind of unexpected finds. Didn't expect to see those in there. You know, my Books of Million gets G.I. Joe every now and then. But it's usually like the... Um, Crocmaster, Snake Eyes, bigger box figures like that. Didn't expect to see those regular classifieds there. Well, Snow Serpent, he's kind of a deluxe figure, I guess. But it was really cool to see that. If I had still been a hardcore Joe guy, I probably would have bought Snow Serpent. But the box was kind of dinged up, and I keep most of my Joes that I have in boxes. But again, we're pausing G.I. Joe right now. That doesn't mean it's still not cool to see new stuff like that on the shelf. And I had never found that figure before. So the unexpected find of the Snow Serpent is number two on the top three of this toy hunt. And that leads us to it. We're down to numero uno, number one. What took the top spot? If you watch my channel, if you look at this stuff on the wall behind me, you can probably guess what number one's going to be. And in classic Man Collect style, we got more than three things in the top three again. But number one is the McFarlane Wave we did find at the Bristol Target. Now, disclosure, I did go to Johnson City Target yesterday trying to find those Platinums. They didn't have them. They'd already sold them. And all they had left was Batfleck from Batman vs. Superman. So technically, I did see that figure in store yesterday. I just didn't film. But we got it on film today. We found it there at the Bristol Target. But that figure, uh, the Skydive Unmasked Batman, and then the Platinum Catwoman, all three of those wrapped into one is number one for this toy hunt video. Uh, now we got to track down Platinum Skydive Batman. Hopefully we find that here this weekend. Um, I've, it's hit Johnson City. It's already shown up at Bristol. We got to see, I guess, Kingsport right now is my last saving grace trying to find that thing at retail. So... We'll hit that store here pretty soon see if we can track that thing down. But that's number one, Multiverse Figures. All right, let's do a little toy haul. Now, one thing I did pick up, the Target did have a sale going on. I don't buy a lot of Funko, but these comic covers, I, I like some of those. I can't help it. I did get the first Wolverine one that came out, so I did pick this thing up for $15. And I know it'll probably end up on clearance. It'll probably end up around $8.99, but there's not very many of these left at my Target. I don't know if they'll get any more. And if it does hit clearance, it's probably going to go quick. I might miss it. So I did pick this up. $15 bucks is not 15 bucks to me is about where these things should be. 19.99, eh, it's kind of pushing it, but 15.99 or 14.99, that's a good price point for these. So I did pick it up. I actually have that Wolverine mini series of that cover, a little picture in the back is based on there from back in the 80s. I've got number one uh, uh, frame to that thing. Actually, I love that cover. Him with the claws popped up, you know, telling you to come on. It's like, you know, I, as soon as I saw this thing advertised, I wanted it. I just didn't want to pay 30 bucks for it, and we got it 50 percent off. All right, actually, my entire haul here came from Target. The next thing I got, and again, this is a little simple car, but I did pick up that Bone Shaker, that little Hot Wheels thing. It's die cast. It's only like six bucks. It's cool looking, and it's a pullback car. You know, when I was a kid, that was sophisticated technology when you can pull the car back and it would take off and roll. So this will end up on the shelf somewhere out here, out of box, somewhere out here in the man cave. But the Bone Shakers do look cool. I mean, try to get the glare off of it there. I like how they look, so I did pick that up. All right, my last two pickups, you know what they are. You got the maskless Bale Batman here, and this is another one people are saying doesn't look like Christian Bale. I got to say, I see Christian Bale features in this thing. I also see John Stamos from Full House. So if Christian Bale and John Stamos somehow got together and had a kid, I think it would look somewhat like that if it grew up to be Batman. What do you think? You see John Stamos in that? For you younger people, look up John Stamos on Full House and tell me you don't see Uncle Jesse when he had his short hair right there. But again, it's not a bad looking figure. I'm glad to have it. I'm just being silly here. And like I said, I love the Bale Batman movies. So I'm probably going to get figures when they put them out there. Even if they keep re-releasing and repainting the same ones. They're Bale Batman figures. I'm probably going to buy them. And then my last pickup, Platinum Catwoman. Again, guys, I don't think there's a, a common release of this. I think this Platinum is the only one he put out on single-figure release. I think to get the regular version of this, you got to buy that Bat Pod little combo pack that he had at McFarlane Toy Store. I don't know that for sure, but I can't find a non-Platinum single release of this uh, searching online or on their website. So we did pick up the Platinum Catwoman here to go with our Bell Batman movie figs.
And that is it, everybody. That is the toy haul. That's all the little segments we do here on The Man Collects. Now we're going to talk about social media and Instagram. Description of this video, about page on YouTube, splash here on the screen. I keep smacking the microphone. I'm sorry about that. That's very unprofessional. But that will all direct you or show you where to find The Man Collects on Instagram. We passed 400 followers on Instagram. That is awesome. Thank you, everyone, for supporting me on there. And give me a follow on there if you're not following me, if you should choose to. And then we got the YouTube channel. We got The Man Collects. If you are a first-time viewer to my content and you enjoyed it, or you've come back some several times and have yet to hit that little subscribe button, consider clicking subscribe to see what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. All right, everybody, that is it. Hope everybody's week is going good. We're trying to head towards the weekend. And until the Friday video, I will see you, well, then.